Welcome back to the bookworms a buddy and today is a let's talk authors so for today I decided to choose none other than Edgar Allan Poe just because it's spook season and he fits the realm so well and I've already talked about Stephen King so I decided Edgar Allan Poe because he's one of my favorites um, for like tales and and poetry and that kind of stuff Edgar Allan Poe was born in 1809 and he died in 1849, so he had a relatively short life. But I don't know anybody that does not know who he is. He's well known around the world, I think, and he's just was he was always very good at what he did. Of course, which was creepy stuff, you know, he did mystery and horror and all that good stuff. Two of my favorites by him is of course The Raven and then also Annabelle Lee. I absolutely love both of those. I only own one book by Edgar Allan Poe and it's the only book that you should have to have and that is his complete tales and poems. And it is a huge book and I just absolutely love it. So instead of having a tour of the books that I have, which you see right here, I'm gonna read you some of the, the titles that are in this one. Okay, so we have the, I'm not going to read all of them. Ms. Found in a Bottle, A de Descent into Maelstrom, the, cold, the Gold Bug, The Black Cat, of course, The Raven and Annabelle Lee, The Oval Portrait, uh, Mystification, A Predicament. I mean, I can go on and on with all the, the stories in here that... He's got the stories and the, and the poetry. Um, of, co of course, Annabelle Lee and, and The Raven is poetry, but The Raven is a really, really long poem. So I'm thinking I'm, go I'm thinking I'm going to have a reading on that one for spook season. We will see though. Tale of Jerusalem, The Sphinx, um, Thou Art the Man, Bon Bon, Astoria. I mean, there's just all kinds of books in here and poetry that are absolutely fantastic. So if you've not read any Edgar Allan Poe, you really need to pick up this book. I got this one for $6 at our local used bookstore and he's there, it comes in all different editions. So if you want to have a really, really good experience with something um, creepy or mysterious or any of that, pick up Edgar Allan Poe because he is fantastic at this and um, I think you're missing out if you've not read anything by him and I, I believe there's also even been maybe some movies and stuff on some of this stuff too I'll have to look into that but um, that is for my let's talk authors this week so if you have enjoyed Edgar Allan Poe you've read his stuff let me know what your favorites are or even if you don't like Edgar Allan Poe let me know and we'll talk about it thanks guys for staying tuned and I'll see you in the next video bye